hi everybody this is Kevin and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to share my thoughts on one of the most frustrating games that I've ever played and beaten and that is Final Fantasy X 2 which of course I finished the Let's Play series like two weeks ago and I've been on a live streaming hiatus because the game broke me so much <laughs> which uh, you can still vote on the community poll post on my channel it looks like Pokemon Sword is going to win though so I can't imagine anyone who hasn't already voted needs to vote but if you haven't make sure you go over there and vote pokemon sword is well in front with kingdom hearts and digimon tied for second place so we'll see what happens there but most likely pokemon's gonna win and i'll return shortly i think another two weeks or something i think a little break okay give me give me a little break i'm watching bleach man which i gotta i gotta cut time out of my busy schedule of watching bleach to record this video so <laughs> give me some credit but anyway you know i beat the game I don't really know if there's much else for me to say about the game because, like I said, it has some pros, but a lot of cons, a lot of negatives. Mostly the story. The story is garbage. It retcons the original game in so many ways, specifically with New Yevon, which is, you know, defeats the purpose of the original game of how Yevon was an evil church, uh, well, really an evil religion that was, uh, had everyone in the death spiral of Spira and Sin and the constant cycle of sacrificing summoners to, to get the calm, which, you know, never really even existed and until Titus figured it out. <laughs> but, um, you know, I guess I, I did like the ending, which, I, I, how did I get the good ending? Because I was under the impression you needed 100% to get the good ending, which involved Yuna reuniting with Titus, which I got. <laughs> and I only had 95%, but it is what it is. I love that scene at the end, too, of Waka, who's like, Hey, get a room! <laughs> and, and Titus says, no one asked you to watch, Waka! <laughs> like, that was a funny moment. But aside from that, I mean, there was a lot of laughs because of how cringy the game was. Like, like seriously, every male character in the game was completely cucked. I mean, you had Sid, who, every time he showed up, he's like, Ah, oh, my back! My back is killing me! Like, I know two years have passed, but how old was Sid to begin with? In his 50s, maybe? I mean, they're acting like he's an 80-year-old man or something. Um, you had Bartello, who kind of was cucked in the original game, too, with Donna. Uh, brother, I wouldn't even say brother was cucked. Brother was just fucking weird because in the original game he only spoke Al Bed, and in the sequel he's like a simp for Yuna, his cousin. Like he was, he was like in love with his cousin. It was, it was quite strange, but it is what it is. It was funny, definitely, but it was just very strange. Uh, like the the tonal shift from both games, very very strange. Um, the music was not very good. No memorable themes as far as general ambient ambience of the towns, battle music, boss battles. Nothing memorable. The only thing memorable was, were the songs of lyrics. The one that played at the beginning of the game and then about near the end, uh, a thousand words. I think that was in chapter four during the Unipalooza. <laughs> Which, the, I gotta tell you, the graphics actually looked really good. I think this game came out in 2004 on the PlayStation 2. So it was near the end of the PlayStation 2. Uh, and even with the original, the graphics looked great, especially with the FMV cutscenes. They looked incredible, almost like PS3 level graphics. So graphics were good. Uh, the combat, now, the combat and the customization with the dress spheres, that was awesome. I really did enjoy that, like the job classes and how you could switch them. You can get the garment grid and have like five different dress spheres at a time on each character. So I like that. I like the strategy. The battles were fun. But, um, <laughs> yeah, the mini games, the mini games fucking suck. How about that one mini game when, <laughs> when you had to give LeBlanc a massage and, and she's literally moaning, like, these loud moans. <laughs> I mean, my God, imagine playing this game. You're, like, 10 years old. You know, you just play Final Fantasy X and you're like, oh, let me get the sequel. I'll, I'll play it. And first of all, you know, your dad walks in on the room during the opening cutscene with the J-pop. And then you're, you're giving LeBlanc the massage. I mean, what? <laughs> How do you explain that to your parents? Your dad will probably say, like, oh, the are you winning, son meme? <laughs> you know? That's that's the vibe I would get. But that was this is the first time I ever played this game, which makes me question what I should do in the future as far as blind Let's Plays. Because, you know, the next Let's Play is going to be Pokemon Sword, which is a blind playthrough, but it's fucking Pokemon. I mean, if I can't figure out Pokemon, that's... There's trouble. But this game, you know, like... <laughs> to get the 100%, you have to talk to every fucking character, and, you know, I went back to, to get all the trophies, because I'm a complete madman. 
And you can get up to 120% by playing the game twice because there's two different routes to go on. You know, if you give the spear, I think it's in chapter two, you give the spear to either the Youth League, which I did in the Let's Play, or you give it to New Yevin and you get additional cutscenes. Um, which, you know, it is what it is. So, <laughs> you got that. And it, it's just crazy. Like, you gotta talk to characters in a certain sequence, otherwise it doesn't count. All sorts of crazy shit. And then with the Lady Luck dress fear, that was my the bane of my existence towards the end there. You have to play this mini game, which involves math. Which, you know, I can do math. <laughs> but you're on a timer, so you gotta be quick about it. So I literally had to, like, do this. This was on New Game Plus. I had to, like, pause, solve the puzzle, pause, solve the puzzle. It was a fucking nightmare. It took me way too long. And then there was Shin Shinra's Bestiary, which is similar to monster hunting in the original game. Where you kill enough monsters and they're captured for the arena and that was easy enough you know i guess i had to grind a little so i will pause right now and show you the the game and the trophies and all that good stuff so sit tight okay we're back over here and i wanted to show you the trophies because you know <laughs> a complete madman 1.9 percent to get them all and i'm recording this a little later because like i said this is interrupting my bleach watch through my binge watch of bleach, so <laughs> I, I gotta get content out for tomorrow, so I'm recording this today. And <laughs> this is my final uh, screenshot, which I love this as the final screenshot for the Platinum. Matron going, Sacred Mount Gagazette, which, you know, you have to, this is one thing I missed during the initial playthrough. With the comm spheres, you know, to watch all these cutscenes, you gotta like angle the camera in a certain way to get these characters to walk on screen. And this is in the Gagazette Hot Springs, which there's some pretty raunchy scenes here, let me tell you, man. <laughs> let me tell you. But some of this stuff is pretty easy. This is like, if you don't do this, then you obviously don't even play in the game. Tr change all the dress fears in one turn. Uh, obtain a special dress, that's kind of story-based. Listen to all Machin stories, so look at this great screenshot. <laughs> but listen to the old fart, just go on. Help Clasco catch a chocobo. This is defeating the boss of the second, or no, this is the first chapter, I believe. So, only 37.5 people even beat the first chapter, and there's only five chapters in the game. This is the second chapter. Defeat Bahamut. I think this is the third chapter. Defeat Zalamander. Uh... <laughs> I don't even want to talk about Sphere Break. <laughs> no, thank you. Alchemist, that's one of the dress spheres. Just use the ability 30 times. This is, um... The Gun Mage, I believe. Which, the Gun Mage? It's not really a good screenshot. That's definitely Yuna's most attractive dress sphere, let me tell you. <laughs> and look up Yuna from Final Fantasy X to a DeviantArt. Because you'll find, <laughs> you'll find some good shit. <laughs> Uh, pay off a walk is debt. Look at this this boy. I didn't even talk about him being all cucked. This guy who couldn't pay off his own debt. Blitzball, which was nothing like the original game because it just plays by itself. It's automatic. Fucking bullshit. This was the Lady Luck dress sphere. Again, just spam the bribe ability. Complete an ability. Use gambler's dice. I don't even know how the hell I got this one. This was uh, talking to Shinra or something. Uh, complete episode in chapter 5. So, like, how many people even made it to chapter 5? <laughs> 17.6? It just shows you, like, people played this game and they were filtered immediately because of how bad it is. Oh my god, dude. Look up a guide on how to do this. I had to refer to a guide on YouTube to get this. This is fucking impossible. It literally takes you, like, an hour to get the fucking ribbon in the game. Which, the ribbon is a very good accessory, so... And this, too. I had to look up a guide to figure this shit out, too, to get the max rank. Oh my god. This was actually easy. You have to max out the gunner dress sphere for all the characters. And use, uh, I think it's called like trigger happy. And spam R1. You get a chain. And uh, you, you fight one of the super bosses who has a lot of HP. And you just keep attacking them. And you get 99 hits pretty easily. But I had to look up a guide to figure that out. Uh, this, one of the dress spheres you get toward the end of the game. Lets you do um, that much damage. <laughs> well, finale. That's the name of the attack there. Oh my god, this was worse than the Final Fantasy X Chocobo minigame. Catch, and, and where is, there's Clasco right there, that bastard. He's like, oh my god, I can't catch the Chocobo. Oh, this fucking pussy. We, this guy says he's the Chocobo breeder. We have to catch the fucking Chocobo for him. What a nightmare. Obtain all the dress spheres. I think the last one I needed 
Yeah, Kamari. So the only way you can get it from Kamari, you have to answer his questions correctly in chapters one and chapters two. If you don't answer his questions properly to his liking, you don't get the stupid trophy. So I had to do it on New Game Plus. I guess it was a June 29th. That's when I beat the game and got all the trophies. <laughs> this was beating one of the super bosses. Um, complete Shinra's bestiary. This is a... Uh, you gotta encounter all the enemies a certain amount of times, and then they oversaw, and I guess Cactar was the last one I needed to find. Defeat Trema. This is the super boss who has 999,999 HP. So, very difficult boss indeed. This is the final boss. Which, this trophy didn't even unlock for me. I had to get it <laughs> the next day. Complete 100%. So yeah, this is talking to Machin. That was my final trophy. And then there's a bonus game called uh, Last Mission, which is a dungeon crawler, and there's 80 floors, and you do that, nobody played this game, but it was, it was kind of fun, actually. Let's see, can I show you? Yeah, it's like a dungeon crawler. I don't know if there's like a good screenshot to show you, but you go around and, and uh, you know, it was, it was fine. Uh, what I liked about it is it takes place two months after the original game. And every 10 fours, there's a cutscene. So I thought that was cool. And after you beat Last Mission, let me show you this. Uh, where are they? After you beat Last Mission, there's some cutscenes that play. Oh god, yeah, these are the, um, <laughs> the Gagazette <laughs> Hot Springs cutscenes. But, uh, yeah, there's cutscenes that play at the end of Last Mission, which I, I really like these cutscenes. You got, like, the girls reflecting off each other. That's some screenshots. And it does, like, recap from the original game, which I really like this. The laugh. Oh, my God. I love the laugh. This is, I think, when they're fighting you and Aleska. Riku and Yuna hugging each other. That's one of the FMV cutscenes. All the ladies from 10-2. Waka. <laughs> oh, the kiss between Titus and Yuna. That's when they're going to fight Sin, I think. And it ended like that. Someday, somewhere in the sky, maybe we meet him again. You know, talking to Titus. So I thought, you know, it was cute. It was cute. Um. Yeah. So I'll show you. Let's go in here and I'll show you how many hours I clocked in. It wasn't 100 hours, thank God. I think it was like maybe 80 hours, maybe 70 something hours. If you're not going for 100% and everything, I think it, it should take you like 40 hours and it's not a terrible game if you're just going to play for fun without trying to get all the trophies like i am but the fact that it retcons so much from the original game i i guess i don't know it still doesn't sit well with me so come on if it can load properly and i'll show you a little bit of last mission i guess but uh we'll go down here and um i'll load my new game plus i guess which, New Game Plus, the only thing that resets are your levels, but all your items and your dress spheres carry over, and the dress spheres are maxed out however you left them. So I suppose that's cool. And then I had the mascot dress spheres, which you get by defeating one of the tournaments with Shinra on the airship. I just don't see how many hours I clocked in. Uh, 81 hours, right? And let's see. here's all the dress spheres. So, like the best dress spheres, I think Lady Luck's pretty good if you get it early. But I got it so late that it doesn't do anything. But the mascot's the best dress sphere because, like, you know, you get auto protect, auto shell on everybody. Um, and then the Dark Knight's really good too. So yeah, I'll cut back. Alright, so I guess I have to do this video because every game I've beaten so far in the span that I've had this YouTube channel, I've sort of done a my experience with is the way I title the videos and I talk about the game a little. And, you know, I, I still am going through Persona 5 Royal with New Game Plus, but I sort of put that on hiatus because watching Ble like Bleach is so keto. And I gotta do a video on this too for the Bleach haters because there's these people are coming out of the woodwork lately. You got the Bleach haters and the dub haters, which fuck you, man. Bleach is where it's at. The dub is amazing. I mean, I don't know what the hell these people are smoking, but anyway. 
Tomorrow I'll have a Bleach video too, by the way. My review of, of uh, not Season 3, but Blu-ray 3. So stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Bear with me a little bit longer as I uh, ease my way back to live streaming. I'll probably be back in two weeks. So just keep posted for that. And if you still want to vote, you can obviously still vote. But it looks like Pokemon Sword is going to win if you take a look at the poll. Which, uh, there's no rigging involved, I, I swear. <laughs> I know some people were saying, oh, there'll be shenanigans in that poll. Nope, I don't think so. So, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Have a great day.